Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are fine and fit. So today we will be continuing with the same topics. So today we will learn addition when we don't have the digit but we are given what to do. So today we will be doing story sums on addition. So let us see what is our first question. Meena had 3 pens and Seema had 5 pens. Fine. How many pens did they have in total? So usually in story sums we don't follow the high techniques. We usually like given total number of pens Meena had or Meena had pens Meena had total number of Meena had three pens. So total number of pens Meena had is equal to three pens. Total number of pens, sorry, pens, Seema had 5. Therefore, total number of pens both had. In here, you can directly write, in the first two sentences, you can write from your pens, Meena had, pens, Seema had, then total number of pens both had. So, 3 plus 5 pens you'll get eight pens okay like this we usually do this type of sums at last in you have to write answer total number of pens Mina and Seema had are eight pens okay so this is one sum let us move to a second sum so our next sum is cost of one book is rupees three two pen is ten rupees one t-shirt is 95 rupees one paint is 99 rupees and five chocolate is 50 rupees help the shopkeeper to find the total amount he had to take from the customer so how we write here we'll use the word cost since we are talking about money so cost of one book is equal to rupees you usually we can write like this also or like this also okay like like this like this both are acceptable okay so this is one rough I have done sorry 3 rupees ok then cost of 2 pens is equal to 10 rupees cost of 1 t-shirt is equal to 95 rupees we usually we don't get normal t-shirt as at 95 rupees but we are assuming that okay cost of one pent is equal to 99 rupees cost of five is equal to rupees 50 therefore total amount total amount shopkeeper has to take from the customer is most of the student what they do do put a plus to uh, sign and keep on doing but we will not do that we will we put bigger number 99 95 then 50 10 3 so that our calculation becomes easy so 9 plus 5 you will get 14 14 plus 3 17 7 1k to do all these sums you have to be more clear with the addition 1 plus 9 10 10 plus 9 19 19 plus 1 will do so that it becomes 20 easy for calculation 
20 20 plus 5 25 so 257 so it's better if you do like this okay so at last you can write therefore total amount therefore the shopkeeper has to take an total amount from the customer is rupees 257 257 i hope you are clear with this